And where do you think you're going, my lady? You know you're instructed to stay in your room during the night. So what do you think you're doing out? You want to stroll in the garden because you can't sleep. <sighs> With all due respect, my lady. It has been told to me by the Duke, your father. No one is allowed to venture into the night. Which includes you, your brother and your sister. No, just because we are childhood friends doesn't mean I'm willing to bend the Duke's orders for you. Come now, my lady. I will be escorting you back to your room. What? I... H how do you know about that? Uh, I'm going to kill them the next time I see them. <sighs> Fine. If I take you out on a walk through the garden, promise me you won't tell the night captain about it. Don't give me that smug look. If we end up getting caught, I am fully blaming you. And claiming blackmail. <laughs> sure, keep telling yourself that. And this is the first and only time I will be doing this for you. <laughs> Why aren't you happy with yourself? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because of the small skip in your step that gave it away. <laughs> Whatever you say, my lady. Well, I could call you by your name. But it would still be improper, even if we are alone. But I guess it's not stopping me from calling you by your nickname, Starlight. <laughs> what? I can't call you Starlight all of a sudden. If I remember correctly, you loved it when I called you that when we were younger. Ouch, hey! <laughs> That's not very ladylike to hit your guard like that, Starlight. <laughs> it's only fair since you are practically doing the same with me. <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that. We're here. Remember, we can't stay out here for that long, alright? Good girl. Hmm. She is the same as I remember. Persistent and stubborn as hell. But also kind and gentle. To think it has been nearly 20 years since we first met at this very spot. I was just a knight's apprentice back then. I got lost in the palace gardens when I came across the young lady. And the young lord. Her smile is what drew me to her. Then and now. From that day on, I swore to protect her with my life. Hmm? Hmm? Is there something wrong, my lady? Did you get hurt? Oh. <laughs> I am... I am all right. Just... Deep in thought. Oh. I thought you didn't like it when I caught your starlight. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll stop teasing. You said you were having trouble sleeping, right? Come, let's sit under the tree over there and stargaze. It's something I do when I can't sleep. Come, sit next to me. Mm, no. 
not all the time, just when I have a lot on my mind and need a quiet place to be. Hey now, <laughs> I didn't say that. Don't be putting words in my mouth. I'm not saying I don't like being around them. They just can be a handful at times. My lady, there is no break when you are a night guard. Protecting you and the city are my first priority. Are you alright? I apologize if I said anything to make you uncomfortable. I didn't mean... Oh, I see. So that's what has been on your mind lately. If you want to, would you like to talk about it? It might help. I'm a good listener. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Mm-hmm. Do you trust me? Okay. Then put your trust in the Night's Guard. Put your trust in me. We will do anything in our power to stop the creed. I can't promise on the behalf of everyone that we will come out of this unscathed, nor without some of us coming out of it alive at all. But there is nothing for you to worry about. Making sure you stay alive is what should matter the most. Leave the fighting to us, okay? As your personal knight, it is my job to protect you. And if sacrificing my life in order to keep you safe is what I have to do, then I... My lady, what are you... He, you don't really mean that. I... You... You really do mean it, don't you? I'm sorry, it's just... It's really hard to believe this. N no, no, of course not. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's the opposite, actually. The whole reason I was hellbent on becoming your knight when we were younger is because I wanted to be closer to you. In all honesty, I fell in love with you too. <laughs> Is it so hard to believe that, my dear? I want to kiss you so badly. But no, not yet. At least not now. Oh, trust me, Starlight. <laughs> you don't know how badly I want to kiss you. Trust me. But now is not the right time. Especially with what is going on right now. I don't want to put your life at risk any more than it already is. So I ask you if you can wait for me just a while longer. And once everything is done and over with, I will properly court you. I promise. You know I can't promise that, my dear. But that doesn't mean I won't try, for your sake. <laughs> well then, we best be heading back to your room. We have been out long enough. Much longer, and there's no doubt they would find out that you are missing from your room. Here, give me your hand. If you begin to grow tired, let me know. I am more than happy to carry you on my back as you sleep. <laughs> so.
sweet dreams, my lady. <laughs>